Formaldehyde is simply an organic compound that contains a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. It has a functional group of um, examples of it has a functional group of the carbonyl group, um, while the homologous series is known as the aldehydes. Right, that's the H series. And remember, the functional group for this um, homologous series is the carbonyl group. Okay, so let's look at examples. Let's start with the simplest aldehyde. Let's take one carbon, double bond an oxygen to it. That's one, two, two, two bonds, three and four. And so over here, I'm going to start naming this. I'm going to say, well, I've got one carbon. Um, there's only the carbon. If there were more, it would have been single bonds between the carbons. So I say methan. And because I can only have one double bond bonded to a carbon atom, and it must be at the end of the molecule. In this case, you can clearly see this is both the beginning of the molecule as well as the end of the molecule. So this here is methan, uh, and the name here ends with L, which indicates it is aldehyde, right? Methanel, methanel. Okay, that tells you one carbon, single bonds between the carbons, and that last part over there tells you it is an aldehyde. Not an alcohol, aldehyde, right? Because alcohols end with OL. Okay, so that's the first example. Let's look at another one. Well, let's build up the chain and let's say we have two carbons on there. And so I've got carbon one, carbon two. Uh, I place a single bond between the carbons and on the last or the first carbon, which is really the same thing, I'm going to place a double bond O. I need to have four bonds around each carbon, so that's going to be one, two, three, and four. And simply around this one, I also need to have four covalent bonds around the carbon atom, and that's going to give me uh, four over there. Now clearly, you need to say, what's the functional group here? Well, the functional group is that double bond oxygen attached to the carbon atom, right? And that's called the carbonyl functional group. This carbonyl functional group is present. I can see one, two, 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 two uh, carbon atoms, and two carbon atoms is F. I've got a single bond between the carbon atoms, um, so I say ethan, and because it's an aldehyde, I'm going to say ethanel, ethanel, right? Um, the homologous series, once again, is the aldehydes. The functional group is the physical structure and group of atoms or, um, or, or, or types of bonds that you see over there. And in this case, it is the carbonyl functional group. Very importantly, um, I don't need to indicate where this double bond O lies. Because if it's an aldehyde, if it is an aldehyde, it must lie on the first or the last carbon. But when you number your carbons, you'll place the numbers closest to the functional group. So it's always on the first carbon. So you could have said it's ethan 1L, but it doesn't really make sense because there's no other possible combination. So it's very easy for us to rather just say ethanol, right? And that's what I have over there. So let's try two more and do it with me. Write it out as we go. Um, let's take one, two, three, four, four carbons, double bond O. Um, Hydrogen over there, four bonds around every other carbon. Right, and let's see what we've got. We've got, we need to number closest to this one, but even if we didn't number, it doesn't really matter because it is a, it is a, an aldehyde and it's a very simple one. Um, and let's name it according to that. And so I can say there are four carbons, so the four carbons tells me it's going to be but. Single bonds between my carbons, I add a n. And as it's an aldehyde characterized by this functional group of year, I say it is butanel with an al at the end. Okay, so in the next video, um, remember, redo this, rewind, rework it, understand each part of how this is named but for four carbons, A in because I've got single bonds between my carbon atoms and L because it is an aldehyde characterized by what we call the carbonyl functional group. That's simply a carbon which has a double bond oxygen to it. And remember the condition, the condition over here for being a, an aldehyde rather is that the carbonyl functional group must lie on the end. Okay. 
Okay, so that, I think that is good. Um, in the next one, we're going to look at a bit more complex structures uh, where we include certain branches. I'm not going to worry with including uh, alkyl um, substituents, um, but if we did, you should know how to do them already.